All right, so we're going to set up our GoPro Hero 12. In this video, I'll try to keep it short. So we got to remove the screen protector on this so we could obviously see what we're doing. So let's go ahead and grab our SD card. Just slide it in here like so, facing up like this. I guess if you have the camera facing down and just push it into place, it's gonna lock in place. Uh, if you put it upside down, you won't be able to push that in and it's not gonna let you lock it in place. So we're gonna grab our Endure battery right here. Line up, of course, uh, these little pins. You can see it right down there. Let's see, we'll aim the camera a little bit closer so you can see right in there, all right. So we're gonna grab our battery, slide that into place, and then you know just close this down to make sure it's fully seated. Now we're going to go ahead and I mean you could remove these as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn this on, and then we're gonna connect it to our phone. All right, so of course English, you guys can set it to whatever you want. Uh, by using GoPro, I agree to the terms of use available at GoPro. Agree. Uh, turn on control camera using your voice. You could you know decide on that. I'm gonna say no uh, It's checking the SD card and then of course 20% battery life or 10% uh, when connected to, pow to power. So let's go ahead and uh, Let's go ahead and replace our battery. I have batteries here on my hero um, I mean hero 11 so let's go ahead and pull that battery out and use it over here because this one needs some charge. Let's go ahead and turn that on. So it looks like the startup is a little bit quicker compared to the other ones. I'm not sure, we'll, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. So once again, English, agree, voice control, it's up to you, I'm gonna hit uh, no. All right, so now it checked, I guess they checked the battery and it has sufficient uh, life. So let's go ahead and open up our phone and go into the GoPro quick app and uh, of course I have some footage here we have to go to GoPro add a new camera and then it's gonna hey, okay so I found it already so this is already set up to connect all right connect camera and then I believe it's gonna ask you to, yeah, to pair and then we should get notification that there might be an update so you notice how when it was under 20 percent it gave us that battery warning now that we have a new battery it went straight into um, set it set up so we're going to save it under hero 12 save name uh, as hero 12 because i have a bunch of them on my gopro quick app new name saved and uh, let's make sure you're getting all the latest features and improvements. Continue. Join. And then uh, your phone or tablet will ask for permission to access the GoPro. We hit yes. And we do have an update. Key features. I guess this is what activates all this stuff. That is this what activates it? I'm not... I'm wondering now if this is just the same camera as the 11 and this is just a firmware update. Right, continue, accept and continue. Of course, we're gonna fast forward to this, uh, through this downloading and update process and we'll, we'll see what we have to do next. All right, so it looks like it has now been updated. Man, that took a minute. Uh, that took a minute for sure. So, wow, we have 10 hours of record time, but I doubt that is 4K. For some reason, my phone is still updating. We have standard quality captures video in 4K. Some lens and slow motion combination may use lower resolution. 4K is ideal for, uh, for ideal for phones that struggle to play back higher resolution. Not sure. Oh, okay, I, I remember now. Hero 11 had this easy mode set up. So we'll do a how to set up your GoPro in a different video. Uh, what is this? Auto connect to the cloud. All right, so I didn't want to show you guys, of course, my 
uh, Wi-Fi and my password and stuff like that. So I went ahead and I connected it to my Wi-Fi. And it asks to go ahead and connect, uh, provide your password for your Wi-Fi. So whenever you charge up um, your GoPro, it automatically uploads onto the cloud. If you have a subscription with GoPro, then you have unlimited, uh, you know, storage. So you could do that. So auto upload is now on. Uh, plug, yeah. So you could power up your GoPro, and this would automatically upload the video on the GoPro to the cloud. So uh, it's a neat little feature. If it's something that you, that you like, if you would like to back it up, of course, it will turn on the GoPro, and the GoPro will remain on up until it finish uh, uploading. And if you have a lot of content, it's gonna take eight hours, <laughs> ten hours depending on how fast your internet is your internet is sorry i'm still currently sick so looks like we are all done free up uh sd card space with auto clear yeah so this is this is gonna uh format it and i believe that's it now you can use your app control so this is just one of the features that you always had with uh all the gopros you could connect you could view the media upload live stream you have a lot of stuff here i'm not going to go over this so we have 10 hours of playback of record time and i'm pretty sure like i mentioned i'm pretty sure this is on easy mode so looks like you have a new little uh screen here this is new this is uh this is different from the previous versions you also have a setup lens right here as well and uh I believe, yeah here we go so we have easy easy you know easy controls or easy mode is turned on but uh it's pretty responsive i wonder what kind of basic quality standard quality and then higher quality so this records 5.3 uh has a 91 percent higher resolution than 4k and allows for 16 mega uh megapixel videos stills we're going to end the video there this is how you start uh gopro hero 12 answer the memory card the battery and then of course update it if you don't have the quick app you have to download that uh you have to download it with uh with your app store play store or whatever you, you know whatever you got and then of course we'll do a setup video uh in a different video you guys stay out there stay safe less risk get out there and ride later